All right, now we have a bit of a math problem for you to solve. We're with two local students joining us that now. That means four. Uh, uh, four Was that the problem? Us. No, I don't think oh, so. okay. Andrew, Karen Dank, and Carolyn Provine. Both <laughs> students recently took top, top honors in the annual Math Counts regional competition. Next month, they're going to te compete for the state title. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Tell me what you brought with you, Carolyn. This is our unofficial team mascot. Andrew, do you have a mascot with you? Um, no, no. No, you just either. brought brains with you, right? Yeah. Have you always been a math whiz? Um, yeah. <laughs> no, don't hold back. Don't be modest. Um, but that's why we've divided up. We're going to have a little competition, and you guys don't mind, right? You'll you'll be on my team, Carolyn, yeah. and uh, of course Bill and Andrew will team up together. I think Omega, are you going to actually you us? ask us some questions? Yeah, gonna, right. Let's do did it. Did you ever take math, Omega? I tried. You know, I mean, I took math on paper, but did I show up for class? That's a whole different situation. Oh. All right. You know, All right, I think whatever. we got things, this thing won. Andrew, or Andrew, or Carolyn, are you ready? All right, you guys ready for the question? We are ready. Okay. Right. Fire it up. Now, if John could burn a single CD in four and a half minutes, how long will it take him to burn 25 CDs? Uh-oh. 25 CDs? Mm -hmm. Do you have it? Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we need what? some paper? Let's bring some paper in here. 125. 112 and a half. That's what Carolyn said. 112, 112 and, a half. and a half. Where's our answer? Omega, is that Wait, right? There's no buzzer. There's no. There's no, 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 no. This is a, this is a low budget show. Okay. Well, Lori said it first, and the answer is 112 and a half. Yeah! Give it up. Before we go any farther, thank you. Thank you. Before we go any farther, somebody did, has to raise did, their hand did, or something. Yeah, yeah. Did you figure that out? Yeah. Do you uh, just didn't say anything? Uh, well, uh, uh, what's I supposed to tell you, or was I supposed to just say? Just raise your hand know, as soon as you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you For think you know one. it, just say. Okay. Yeah, we didn't really make that clear. Okay. We should do that one over again. <laughs> Bill, no, we're moving on to the next okay, one. Okay, all right. Here's the next one. All right, the next one is, what is the next number in the pattern? Five, eleven, twenty-three, forty-seven, and. What do you think? 95. Uh, she's got it. 83. Oh. I think it's 95. I think 95 it's 95, too. Take it all right. Woo! Woo all and right. uh, just, to, just to be clear, all, all I did was double it and add one. Is that what you got, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we both got that. Strong but silent. So I it's, see. Oh, it's tied. Is that the last question? That's it. That's all we have. But we just want to wish you guys congratulations. We know you're going to do a great job. You're going to come together, right? And you have a big competition coming up, right? When is that final competition, the statewide March 21st. competition? March 21st. March 21st? Yeah. All right. Good luck. You'll make us proud, I know. Carolyn Provine and Andrew Cardenang, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back with more of the Ken Show. Good job, Andrew. <laughs>